Let's work on problem 24 of chapter 8 of OpenStax University of Physics. So we're given a force which varies inversely as x and we are fine to f uh, and we are asked to find the work that is done on a particle as it moves from x equals 2 to x equals 5. Okay, well, uh, for part A then, we have that the work is equal to the integral of the force times the displacement. Now here, because it's a one-dimensional problem, uh, the force acts in the x direction, and, uh, and the particle is moving on the x direction, that means that I can just write f times dx, because f that dx would be equal to f times dx cosine of theta, but the um, cosine of theta in this case would be equal to 1, since the force and the displacement are parallel. Okay, so then it's just a matter of doing the integration. The force that I have is 3 over x, and the integration is over dx. I can take out the 3 out of the integral, so I have 3 over x dx, and so my integral is 3 natural log of x. Now I have to um, evaluate this between the endpoints. Alright, so um, if I go from 2 to 5, then those happen to be my limits of integration. And so then I evaluate this. So then the work done is going to be equal to 3 times natural log of 5 minus natural log of 2. And if I put that in the calculator, uh, natural log of 5 is 1.609 and subtracting the natural log of 2, I get 0 0.91 and then I multiply that times 3 which gives me 2.748 so we can say 7.5 2.75 joules now for part B I'm asked to consider uh, that the potential is zero at infinity. And so what does this mean? Well, if you look at the form of natural log, it looks something like this. And so what does natural log do at infinity? Uh, well, if I look at the limit of natural log of x as x goes to infinity, I see that that happens to be infinity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose um, this level at infinity to be where I define my potential to be equal to zero. Now, why am I uh, constraining the natural log? It's because we know that my potential is going to have the form of 3 natural log of x, just from what we did before. Um, some of you may know about the del operator, and so you may know that the definition of force is actually that. Uh, which then means that in order to get the potential, uh, in this case that it's a one-dimensional um, uh, problem, it would be just f that dx, which is what we just did in the previous part of the problem. 